Five Oaks, I'm waiting for my friend Harrison because he's here, he's been here for a while. Never fished here, never really heard of the place since um, yesterday. I thought, you know, give a bit of a switch up, not just Sumners, because it's always Sumners. So, Five Oaks, same fish really. They've got grass carp here, now we've got grass carp. Um, but we're just waiting for Harrison and. Yeah. Can't wait. Harrison's it. Big up. Right, so today I'm with H. I mean Harrison. Hi right, guys. Um, and we're just walking around the lake now. Um, there's a lot of proper carp people in bivvies. Um, Harrison's been set up here for a while, and he's been telling me that there is fish everywhere, and I mean everywhere. So I've even seen a few ripples, not out in the middle, but in the margins, which is a bit odd in the winter because you think they'd be in the deep. But oh well. Um, and there's a dog, so I'm gonna shut up and not talk to you when we pass the dog. Right, so we're in the house and stuff now. Oh. He's using the haram bait, so pepper me. Yeah, we don't fish with that type of stuff. What have you got on this one? I can touch this one, yeah? Waffle, yeah. And then this is what he's using. So, very small lead weight, but that's fine. Um, and then just a hair. We're gonna move to the other side of the lake and see if we can't bag a few carp before the end of the session. Right guys, so the rods are in, but I haven't set the uh, dedicated rigs up yet. So I've got my rig box. Um, it's, it's, you know, there. Um, now, I don't know if I want to do hair rig approach or a slip D rig. Now, I've got three rods, so I've got three rods to work with and see what works. So, without further said and done, I'm going to send a few spawns out with one of Harrison's rods, if he even has one, or just throw two, and um, yeah, get the rigs in place. See? can't bag a few cups. Okay, I'm just gonna send this straight down here. Okay, it's very silky though, but that's pretty subjective. Right, so I'm gonna make a chum mixture um, to maybe help us. But first, I'm gonna add corn. This arguably is the best bait for pond fishing any time of year, whether that be summer, winter, autumn, spring. Use this stuff, it will make you catch. It's attractive, it smells, and it's cheap. We're gonna put some of this corn in. Shall I put the whole lot? Whole lot of corn, tiger nuts. Now, people don't really use them in the, in the winter months because they're not really attractive, but I like using them. Put these on a put these on a hair rig, yeah, in the summer. Oh my days, too much. Boilies, you can never go wrong with crumb, oily crumb, yeah, you can never go wrong. You can never go wrong with a bit of oily crumb. Because the cart gets filled up very easily because of their metab metabolism. Their metabolism is down, so they get filled 
very easily. And also this is the crappiest bread. Another yeah, another great um, you know food toss for cut in any sense, whether that be summer, winter, spring, autumn. Yeah, add a bit of the crumb, not whole chunks because you don't want it floating because they don't really feed, and then you attract the ducks, and that's just the whole thing. Oh, you know, you like that to a carp is unreal, unflipping real. Add a bit more bread. Ow, liquid. Today I'm using spicy krill, yeah? So we're gonna put a bit of that in. Cause anything to just, you know, I like that, yeah? And, wow, that stinks. Okay, now, blood worm pellets. You cannot go wrong with blood worm pellets. You can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Now, give it all a mixture. You want to see what this looks like. Also, I'm going to add a few more boilies. Like, if you're a carp and you're not going to eat that, fix your life up, mate, because it's not right with you. Like, I could not think of, I mean, maybe some, you know, more liquids. Um, but them liquids are like £20 per bottle, and I can't be bothered to pay that much for a smart liquid, that's the one. I'm not dissing it, I've never tried it. It could work magic, I'm sure it does. But if you wanna keep it cheap, this is all you need. Now, I'm gonna send this out to the lake where we've casted, and hopefully, all the cut from the whole entire, they, this works so well, they're gonna start jumping over from the other ponds, they're gonna be jumping over and flopping over into this pond. Um, but there is a 30 pounder in here, and I want the 30 pounder. I want it, I need it, yeah? So, I'm going to see if I can't get the 30 pounder. This is all done. I'm going to send that out, see if we can't catch a carp. And the bombs today. Oh, yeah. Just, this has got to go between us. I'm not going to put like a large amount on each. This one's going to be a bit difficult because this one's a bit. <sighs> it wasn't there. The gas, look. I'm just going to bring the fish in. It doesn't have to be on, I mean, it's better if it is, obviously, to focus the point, the fish onto one point. But as long as the fish are rummaging around where the hook bait is, you know what I mean? You've done your job. You're attracting fish. Now we're going to sit tight with our fingers crossed, touching this tree. Wood, I mean, that, yeah, wood. Um, see if it, stop eating the bait. It's not for you. What are you doing? <laughs> Mug. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can't catch a carp. I'm gonna wait and I'm waffling. I'm gonna shut up. Okay, no fish have yet, but Harrison has spotted fish um, a bit further away from where we are actually um, fishing. So I've put one of my rods here, literally just on the floor. I've put one of my rods with a little um, pineapple yellow pop-up um, in the lily pad. I don't know if you can see, wait. So, where that moorhen is, just if behind him, my thing is about there. And fish is showing. So, Harrison's just quickly set up here, trying to catch a fish. We have like 20 minutes left. Um, and I'm just trying to catch a, something because or else I'm going to be sad. So I'll get you if we catch something. I thought that was a fish then. Right, so it's the next day. I've come down with my dad. Um, so no more Harrison. He's gone. But after that session yesterday, me and Harrison chucked all our bait into this corner. So saying that, the fish should be here. They've had over 24 hours, no, not over 24 hours, just about 24 hours to feed there and find the food. So I'm in the exact same spot. I know where I baited up because it's such a small lake. So I, hopefully the fish should be around this area. 
there's one other person here that's it so not much competition um but yeah with that I said let's get the rods in Okay, right. So I don't know if you saw in the in the the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, there's no fish in it. Um, I'm not even joking. A guy had a camera, a depth finder, cast now went throughout the whole entire lake. There is no fish here. Um, well, that's a lie. There's one fish. We saw one fish in the whole entire lake. Um, so, change of plans. We are moving to Sumner's um, because that's the only place that's close, literally five minute drive, if that. So we're going to go to the farm pond at Sumner's just to catch a few fish because I've been here two days and I've caught nothing. But to be fair, there's no fish in here because it, you know they've all been taken out um, for Christmas. But oh no, <laughs> stop! I'm not. Can you just wait? Yep, so I'm ne- Can you stop? I can't. Right, so I'm never coming back here because number one, the manager, yeah, fix your lake, mate, because everyone's taken the fish out. Number two, the, the, the flipping jetties are rotted, like completely rotten. The banks, they're just, they're just absolutely overgrown. There's no fish. Oh, maybe, look, maybe there was fish. Yeah, okay. But they're all gone now, so... You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, no. So we're going to go to Sumner's. I'm going to pack up. And I'll get to you when we're at Sumner's. Which is going to happen right now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we got something! I'm on your left, by the way. I'll get the net. I'll get the net. It's fine. I'll... I haven't caught a fish in so long. Yeah, it's a 20 pound. It's 600 pounds. Oh! Oh my god, he's deformed. He's deformed. He's actually quite. Oh my god, guys, he's down the sand. I know. Yeah, I was catching like 15 pounders. I haven't caught a fish in so long, and I'm happy. So we've been here for about a couple minutes, like 10 minutes max, and I've already caught one. So. I'm happy. Um, yeah, we'll go and get a bit of a look. This guy for it after all this time. Finally, I mean, look, it was probably born two days ago. I'm not saying it's big, it's tiny. But I haven't caught a fish in so long. I'm happy, and that is a stunning little mirror. Yeah, he's actually his mouth's not as deformed as you know some of them in here. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, that is a beautiful little mirror. That's Seventy pound. Maybe a British record, I'm not sure. You know, we're gonna pop him back, see if I can. I mean, Harrison's got one now. Um, Guys, it's a bring. Oh my God, you foul hooked a rod. Oh my God. That's not my fault. That's actually a nice rod as well. That's actually a really decent <laughs> rod. That's time. actually a really decent rod as well. Yeah, what are you doing with him? I'm trying to put it on the roof. Oh, let me grab my hand hook because it's hard. Because that'll be hard to get off his head. It's, it's, it's barbless, right? I think so. Yeah, really hard. I've done it with one hand. Okay, I want to hold it. <laughs> Go on then. It's my fish. I caught a fish, I'm happy for the day. Go on then, I'll get you on then.
Right, so that's Harrison's fish. Man, what the fuck, man? Wow. Really, really specimen cut that. Could you take a photo? So fuck, man. To send it to me. Yeah, sure. All right. A few moments later. <laughs> One hour later. Right, so Faisal fell over trying to get a float and he grabbed this and now he looks like a f teddy bear. Yeah, no, I, I slipped and I went like that and the whole thing just pooped. <laughs> um, don't grab floats, kids.